हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एनजी क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर अ वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज इन पाइथन इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वील कंसीडर एक्सप्लेन जॉइन एंड स्प्लिट मेथड्स विथ एग्जांपल्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स गेट इनटू द कॉन्सेप्ट स्ट्रेट अवे द फर्स्ट मेथड वील कंसीडर जॉइन द जॉइन मेथड इज यूजफुल वन देर इज अ लिस्ट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग्स सो आई रिपीट अ लिस्ट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग्स दैट नीड टू बी जॉइन टूगेदर इन टू अ सिंगल स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू दैट मीन्स इन द जॉइन इट टेक्स लिस्ट दैट लिस्ट विल हैव इंडिविजुअल एलिमेंट सेपरेटेड एलिमेंट्स एंड द जॉइन मेथड टेक्स एक्सेप्ट सच लिस्ट एंड इट जॉइन्स दैम टूगेदर इन टू अ सिंगल स्ट्रिंग वैल्यू the join method accepts list of strings the input is list and it returns a concatenated string that means the input to the join is list and it returns a concatenated string to understand this much better what we do is uh, we'll consider uh, the following into the interactive shell yes this is the interactive shell of python now let me consider demonstration of join method let me type comma dot join this is the method and it accepts a list so that is why i enter the elements into the square brackets so what are the elements so let me just type cats rats and let me consider another element dogs so these are the three elements and they are there inside the list and i want to join them together with a comma the moment i type this and i press enter i'm going to get one string as the output considering cats comma rats comma dogs how do i say one string it starts with the cat starts with a single quote and the dogs ends with one single quote so let me just check this so let me just press enter so this is what i'm going to get cats rats dog they are separated with we can see here they are separated with comma and i call this as a single string why do i call this as a single say a string because uh, cats it starts with a single quote and dogs ends with a single quote so whatever i have inside this is a concatenated string so i said uh, in the explanation join method accepts lists and it returns a concatenated string so let me consider another example uh, here let me consider the single quote let me uh, press space bar and i let me consider uh, closing this with single quote dot join as this is the method uh, or the function it should begin and end with uh, parenthesis inside to this i will have the square brackets because it is going to accept list as the input and it is going to return uh, a concatenated string so this time i am going to consider i am a student so this is the list i am a student these are all separate elements of a list and if i join them using join method and in between how i am joining this i am joining these things with a space so if i press enter i am going to get one concatenated string as i am a student we can see here uh, there is one single quote at i and there is another single quote at t Uh, this is a concatenated string uh, let me consider another example capital a b c and i'll uh, just close this with a single quote dot join so here i am going to consider a list so what is list so let me type my name is a ram so this is the list and it has separate elements if i press enter what i'm going to get the moment it finds my after this it it prints a b c so i'm going to get output as my a b c name a b c 
is abc ram so this is the output i am going to get so let me just check this by pressing enter we can see here my abc name abc is abc ram so this is the small demonstration of join method next we'll consider the split method yes now let me consider the second method that is the split the split method is useful when there is a string that need to be split into a list of strings the split method accepts a string and returns a list of strings so what it means is the input to the split is a string it is a concatenated string a long string and it splits that string and returns a list of strings to understand this much better what we do is we'll enter the following into the interactive shell yes this is the interactive shell of python now let me consider the demonstration of a split method the input to the split method is a string so let me first type a string my name is ram so this is a list i would type dot split split is a keyword uh, follows followed by uh, parenthesis so that means split is a method i want to split this string the input string is my name is ram after splitting this i would get a list wherever it finds the space after my we can see here there is a space so my is the first element it splits at this point next it considers a name it splits uh, the, there is a comma after this there is a space and is uh, that the split is going to happen after is there is a space and uh, ram so i'm going to get these as the list elements so if i press enter i'm going to get the first element of the list is my comma after that i'm going to get name comma after that is and i'm going to get ram so this is the output of split so i said the input to the split is a string and the output of the split method is going to be a list yes uh, what i do is uh, let me consider the same message my name is ram this is the string and i want to split this with a character let me type m so what is going to happen it is going to split this string till wherever it finds the letter m small letter m uh, it starts with capital letter m so uh, it, these two will not match uh, it leaves this as it is my space n a after this it finds m so it is going to split at this point it is going to consider my space n a is the first element of the list comma it finds e space e is space r a and it is going to split at that point so let me press enter we'll understand this much better so as i said my and after this uh, there is a space space is considered n a is considered after this uh, there is m so it splits this uh, into one element of the list comma it considers the next thing e e the letter e space is space r a after this uh, m is there so it is going to split at this point of time and i'm going to get this as the output of a uh, split method so as i said the input to the split method is a string and the output of uh, this is going to be a list i hope you people have understood these two methods if there are still any doubts please let me know them on to the comment section and i'm happy to answer those doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel engineering classes for more videos in python thank you so much for watching